In 2018, the 10th Parliament passed the Landlord and Tenant Bill, which aimed at harmonizing the working relationship between the two parties. However, the bill was returned to Parliament by President through the Speaker for ironing, especially for Clause 2, where the President demanded for the interpretation of the terms business and residential premises. The President also deferred with Clause 15, Subsection 1, in which he claimed he had granted a leeway to noise and public nuisance. He must personally have read through it. Actually, I was surprised that he could detect those small points about the public interest. The bill was later reintegrated under the Landlord and Tenant Bill 2021, late last year. I beg to move that the bill entitled The Landlord and Tenant Bill 2021 be read the third time and do pass. The Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development has been at the center of this bill. Under physical planning, there are areas which the authorities must designate for different purposes. If it is designated for commercial purposes, let it be for commercial purposes. Minister Kanya asserts that the bill will, among others, cement the relationship between the landlord and the tenant. There are tenants who want to escape at night. We're saying that law, even if you escape at night, or if you don't even give a notice, it does not absorb you. Clause 46, subsection 2 of the bill, if enacted into an act, will hand a penalty to the landlord who forcefully evicts a tenant from any premises. It's natural that somebody may default for a week or two, a month, or two months, or three months. Is it reasonable that immediately after one week, somebody should go? No. They must contract within a certain parameter. The bill did also recommend that the tenants will at all times meet the expenses such as parking, toilets, among others, but at a reasonable and agreeable rate. For those landlords who have always forcefully demanded for rent payments in dollars and other currencies, the bill has also paid attention to this matter. Our legal tender is Uganda ceilings. That is the legal tender recognized in Uganda ceilings, right? So we have given the option that to start with, again, that will become a question of a negotiation. According to government, to avoid misunderstandings between the landlord and tenants, both parties are being encouraged to peg their working relationship on formal agreement. There are landlords who don't want to write down an agreement. Why? Because they want to have the freedom to vary the terms of the tenants at any time they want. Under the bill, rented the premises for schools, worship houses and residential are not exonerated. Remember, what you are going to do in that premises will affect the public. Even if it is a church, it will affect the public around. Want to know what are you doing there? Are you doing it with the interest of the public? The bill which was passed by parliament yesterday now waits for approval from the president into a law. Currently, the two parties are regulated under the Rent Restrictions Act, Cap 231 and 76, enacted in 1949 and 1993, respectively. Robert Onyango, UBC.